most top-class clay shots shoot game, but even though sure. Hannah Gibson's other half is a gamekeeper, she has never had a day on the pigeons. To the rescue comes Captain Crow, who is more than happy to make a hide big enough oh, yeah. for a guest. Yeah. Up through its rib cage. Okay. Or its breastbone. Yeah. Up its neck into its head. That should. That should be alright. Okay. This is Hannah Gibson. <laughs> All the clay shooting world know her. Uh, shoots for England, uh, so she's well known in the clay world. Um, and this is one that put my name, <laughs> her name on the door of, uh, of my JCB, which I quite like as it goes. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. get in trouble too much. And as I liked it, she, uh, she's been badging me ever since, can I have a day on a pigeon. She's never shot pigeons before, so this is a first for her. I've only shot pigeons twice, so. Um, <laughs> I'm at a little bit of an advantage. <laughs> so, no, so it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a great laugh in the hide. She's even brought some food, unlike you, David, <laughs> which is Brilliant. good, which is good. That's, that's a good start. You've had lollies. I didn't have a lolly. I didn't have a lolly. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't know what you're talking about. We've left a couple of boughs out in the field here. What it is, the pigeons are coming through here, up the top of the hill, cut down through and go out that way, sir. So. There's someone going on the beans, so I'm here just to try and keep them moving, keep them moving around to keep things going, really. But yeah, like you say, it's usually concealment, but the bales have been here, they're used to the bales being out here. It's just a case of putting a few branches on there, try and get the sun off the stake as we're stuck out in the middle of the field. So hopefully we'll get a few good shots. With everyone cool as a calippo, we start shooting. Hannah may be a fantastic clay shot, but the pigeon hide is Andy's natural habitat. And there is lots to learn to adapt her shooting skills to cope with this challenging bird. Right, shoot his feet off. Shot. I don't know how your gun shoots, but I, that, I would have shot his feet yeah. off. Yeah. What do you mean by shot his feet off, Craig? I just shoot underneath it. It's, it's coming in, and as it's coming in, it's dropping. But we're on a hill, so it looks like it's coming flat, but it ain't. It's, it's dropping. Right, another one coming here on the left. Get yourself right down. Right, bring yourself up onto it. Another nice shot. Just keep, you've just got to get in your head, you've got to come down, because they'll see you. Just, as they come up and just come up onto it. Don't panic on uh, it. no rush, you've got loads of time. And don't shoot them so far out. It's, it's either me or the dog's got to go and pick them up, so can you shoot them a bit closer? No problem. Yeah, the dog's used to shooting them up, picking them up at about 20 yards. I didn't want to say that. Well, I'd appreciate it if you killed it with the first shot as well. I, I know. I know. <laughs> yes! Good girl! It's also a partnership in the hide. Teamwork is far more effective than every shooter for him or herself. And then, most importantly, there is safety. Ear protection is also crucial with two guns blasting away in close proximity. And he's got some new green Varios to go with his eyes. It all boils down to communication. Talking of which, let's find out a bit more about Hannah's shooting career and why she's never been pigeon shooting. So Hannah, this incredibly is your first time in a pigeon hide. It is, yes. Why has it taken so long? I would say partly due to my other half. Yeah. Um, three and a half years ago, he promised me a day on the pigeons. And um, yeah, I'm still waiting. So Andy came up with the goods. <laughs> He's not shy of coming up with the goods. No. So you just bored of my company having to bring other people into the hide now. Is that the whole point of it? No, it's not. I get as much enjoyment out of watching people that can shoot, shooting pigeons, as doing it myself. That's why I've been letting Hannah have a few shots. She's been shooting really well. So I started shooting when I was uh, 12 years old. My dad shot quite a lot of plays um, and a bit of game as well. And it was sort of, Dad, can I come with you? Um, and from that point onwards, after kind of first couple of goes, I was hooked. And haven't looked back since. Been shooting now for 14 years. And it's given me some amazing opportunities as well. Really, really lucky to be involved in it. And what about your year? What was the sort of highlight of your, your season? Um, this year for me, I think shooting the World Championships and coming third um, overall in ladies and also winning team gold was a massive highlight for me. I think George set a really good course. Um, it was tough, but that's how a World Championship should be. 
Crow's setup is delivering birds and there is lots of clearing up to do. It's tough going in this heat and that leads to lots of issues. Firstly, the dog needs to be looked after with plenty of water. And secondly, there are the birds Good themselves. Girl. Unless you can keep them cool, the dead pigeons will rot in the field and that's just irresponsible. It is one of the reasons Andy has held off shooting big days during this hot summer. If I go out and shoot a big bag, I've got an hour's journey at the end of the day. They're going to heat up and uh, they're going to be rotten. Half of them are going to be rotten, so I'd rather not shoot them as that. So It's all right if you've got a chiller. No, the best thing to do is keep them as in the shade and keep them as cool as possible. We were out in the middle of the field and today and there don't seem to be many flies out there. don't seem to get out in the middle of the field quite so much. But it's just don't stack them on top of each other. As soon as you start doing that, then they're cooked. After lunch, the birds slack off a bit. Andy says there are lots of places for them to feed at this time. With so much of the harvest done, they're spread far and wide, and they've also been shot at quite a bit by now. We see good individual efforts and that all-important teamwork. Kill it, kill it. All the time that's committing, that's coming into the decoys, well, leave it. Especially, leave it if, especially, it. Yeah, especially if there's more than one of them, there's two of them. Let them come right in. As long as the first one can be landed on the ground, and you take the, the further one. And but it's all stuff you learn. Yeah. It's stuff I've learned. I've learned by my own mistakes. But no, you've picked it up well. You've shot some, okay. shot some good birds. So that's yeah, been good fun. Ah, yeah. oh, good. Yeah, it's, it's been good fun. It, it's been lovely. It looks like we're heading for a hundred, which for a first day in the pigeon hide is more than respectable. It won't be long before Hannah will have hands like Andy. Maybe not. But one thing we do learn is that Andy does moisturise. Does that stain that blood? It does. It's a job to get out. If you have a big day, cut 100. By the end of the day, that's grounded. It does take a lot of getting out. I sometimes put barrier cream on before I start, but nine times out of ten you forget. So, but, um, you honest, sorry, you put barrier cream on? Well, it's like a moisturiser, isn't it? <laughs> Any particular brand of barrier cream? Um, well, whatever I get hold of. It's not, not women's stuff and all that. <laughs> I wasn't suggesting who won. But I was thinking, you know, most pigeon shooters wouldn't leave home without uh, Nivea or Amino or... An FF5. <laughs> that was Don't... cool. Nick Tate's now doing moisturiser. Yeah. No, honestly, is it, is it tricky to get out? Yeah, I do, I do use barrier cream now to get it. It's the same stuff I use when I'm doing service on the tractor and that. Just stops it going into the pores of your hand. Beauty and pigeon shooting tips all in one place. Yeah. Oh, lovely. With the birds Great slackening shot, off and the skies looking dark, we start packing up. Shot like me, missed some easy ones, shot some real good ones. <laughs> no, we've had a great day. No, it's been brilliant. Um, I don't know if she'll come again, but I dare say she will. I dare say she'll invite herself along again. Hannah loves her shooting, and if she ever needed another reason to get behind a shotgun, we think she's found it.